Miss Tika, yeah. uh, you not only have starred in the film, but you were producing as well. Can you just give us a little background on how all of this is, uh, the momentum has uh, been for you? It's been awesome. I mean, it started with a synopsis that I read, and I thought whoever wrote this is super smart. Met with Richard Tanney, who's the writer, director, and I was right. He, he told me his vision, and I was like, write the script. He's like, okay. So finally he wrote it. I prodded him to every two weeks I was calling him. And he finally wrote it and I said, we're going to get this made. And I believed in it from the get-go. I just thought it was an amazing story, complex, um, intelligent, and charming. And we got it made. And we're here right now in Roadside. And, and we, went, we went to, South, to um, Sundance and Roadside and, and Merrimax, you know, helped us out and was like, we want to buy it. <laughs> so we're here now. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Parker, fairly new on the uh, acting scene. Right. Uh, can you just give us a description of what it was like, you know, coming up to this point? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, I started acting five years ago, and I started doing uh, very small roles and big films, and I would take any experience I could get. So um, just to see what, what was life on set like, mm -hmm. you know, and I would, I would never go to my trailer, I'd just watch other actors and, and talk to directors and uh, the cinematographer, lighting guy, sound guy, everybody. Um, and then I'd, <laughs> I would joke around on set doing Barack Obama's voice, and, uh, and yeah, that brought me here. That's great, that's great. Now, preparing for the film, because you are portraying iconic figures on the world stage, how did you... How did you do that without it being a reenactment? Yeah, we didn't want to uh, imitate uh, Michelle and Barack. We wanted to really uh, embody who they are, the essence of who they are. But we, you know, for me, it took a little more work, like the, the voice and making sure that was right. And, um, you know, some of the mannerisms and reading books basically from the accounts of people who really know her which for me it was her brother and in, in game of character that described who she was at that time and, and and what she was doing and what she was like and her drive and her confidence and you know the guys who would come around who couldn't didn't stand a chance you know so um all that informed my character and i got to create a lot because the, she's not on tape as we she's not on tape at 25 not that i have a tape of her so I got to create what I thought it was. Yeah, no, I started off with a very strong impersonation of President Barack Obama. And then I watched video of him when he was 29, 33 years old, just to, to get the younger version of him. And then I just built the character out of a person who had moved around as a child, who had gone uh, and done very well at Columbia and then to Harvard, and to understand what kind of person that is. So somebody who reads a lot, somebody who thinks a lot, and somebody who believes in himself, and then put that all into the character and whatever was in the script. And last question. It's obvious, real account of the Obamas, the love, the depth of the love that they have, and the example that they portray to the world, and new couples, and upcoming couples. Yeah. How, you know, is, to you and to the people that are going to be watching, you know, an inspiration, their, their, their love is an inspiration, whether you call it black love, it's black, white, green, yellow, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the interesting thing was, you know, we went, when we did go to Sundance, you know, we played at an audience where it was just a variety of people, the first screening, and then there was, a, we went outside of the Sundance zone to the people who actually live there. And it was mostly white, some black, but it, it, the Sundance crowd was a little more diverse, but they, it, they felt the same thing. Mm -hmm. They felt, they were smiling. They were like, doesn't matter what affiliation politically you're with, this is a love story and it's about two people evolving and getting to know each other. So love is love and I think most people will get it because it's accessible and real, so. Great, thank you.